Yeah. Life without you been feeling kind of strange. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blow up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri, and today I am going to be installing this hair that y'all see on camera, and I'm also going to be talking y'all through it. So that's so exciting, and y'all might get a little bit of tea in the mist. Who knows, you just gotta stay tuned. But this video is in partnership with West Kiss. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. Before we hop into it, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all all the details on the hair and show y'all what they sent me in the box and then we can go ahead and get started. So, when you open up the box, you see these lashes. Y'all, please don't mind my nails. I promise I'm finna go get them done, I promise. And then they also send you a wig cap, actually two wig caps, so. This is what it looks like. And then, I love when they send these. I have a scarf and whisk kiss from one of our last um, collaborations, and I still use it to this day. So I'm glad that I got another one, because the other one is kind of busted. But this is one of my favorite silk scarves, and I just put it to tie down my lace at night, and yeah, they sent me one. And then they also sent a cute little dust bag for when I take off my wig, and I can just put it in here to, you know, Keep it in storage. And then last but not least, they sent this card in there that basically just shows you how to take care of your wig. And this is what the box looked like. So cute and so sleek. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Y'all already know before we hop into this, y'all gotta thumbs up this video and also comment down below and tell me what you guys wanna see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit. I'm lit and if you subscribe, then you can be lit too. And that's on what? That's on period. So let's just hop right into this video, okay? So today has been a very, long day and it's not even nowhere near being over it's only four o'clock it's 4 17 to be exact it's friday september the 24th i have a zoom call later with you guys if you are not on the spam then i'm gonna put the spam name on the screen so you guys can be in the next zoom call maybe y'all these past few weeks have honestly been so hectic and i started off just posting a lot on youtube and then y'all probably just saw me go like completely ghost I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. The very short, simple, cute, and easy. Basically, what happened was my cycle came. And when my cycle come, I just be like in and out of moods. I can't keep a consistent mood for longer than a couple minutes. So it just be a, a whole lot. It'd be hard for me to gather myself and actually get on camera. Yeah, so my last video was the beauty room tour. So yeah, it says a week ago. So it's been about a week since I posted on YouTube. So that's pretty much why. And yeah, just overall, I just been super duper tired. I've been working out every day every day except for the weekends sometimes i don't work out on the weekends but if i feel like getting up and working out on the weekends i do that i necessarily don't have like a a weight goal or anything like that i just kind of just want to get more toned and fit and i just want to be overall happier with my appearance my physical appearance because that's important to me my next vlog i'm gonna take you guys to the gym so you guys can see what all i be doing and all that good stuff so y'all can see girl ain't capping okay so i have my stocking cap on if you guys are not familiar on how to do the stocking cap method i will have a video listed in the top right corner i just won't be explaining like every little thing in this video so i just linked that video if you are coming here for a tutorial um but yeah let's just move on let me go ahead and glue this down and then i'll see you guys in a few seconds Okay, so uh, now I have on the wig cap and uh, I'm kind of excited because I have been customizing this unit for about a week or two now and this is going to be my first time actually putting on my head and I'm excited to see how it's about to look. But before we can do that, we got to go ahead and put some makeup on it so it can start to look like scalp and then we're going to see what this wig is talking about. So boom, the makeup is on. It's time to grab this wig. Look at her. She looks so red on camera. She's not really that red in person though. She looks more like burgundy in person, but she looks really red on camera, like really vibrant on camera. It's gonna be my first time putting it on. So let's see how this thing gonna look on me. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. So, there looks like there might be like a slight problem with like the sizing of this unit, but I can make it work. But other than that, like the plucking looks good. So far, so good. Only thing is we gotta go ahead and do something about this lace because it is absolutely too light for my skin. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and tint this lace. I was just gonna put makeup on it, but it looks like it needs a little bit more than makeup just because of how um, like light it is compared to my skin. So we just gotta do a little bit of tweaking and then we'll be able to 
inside this unit. But while we doing this, I think I wanna give y'all like a little mini story time about what happened a couple days ago. Cause it was crazy. Do I wanna tell this story? I think I wanna tell this story. Cause why not? Anyways, let me get my lace tint. Let's start in this lace and then we can get into the story time. So the lace tint brand that I'm gonna be using today is Wig Extensions. And I got this from my local beauty supply store. I don't really know if this is like a brand that you can find online because like I said, I just found it in my beauty supply store. So I'm just gonna be spraying this all over the lace and then I'm gonna run the blow dry over it to dry it. And then, yeah, we can get to chatting. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I put it back on my head after tinting it. And it looks already so much better. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put some makeup on top of it too. Because it's still a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I just don't want it to be like any flashback if I was to take pictures or something. So I'm just going to go the extra mile and apply some probably like foundation or like some powder onto the lace to make it blend a little bit better. And then... Yeah. Okay, so this is a lot better and it's matching a lot better. But in order to put that makeup all over this lace, I just had to mess up all the baby hairs that I pre-created. So we're gonna have to go back in when I'm styling it and recreate all of those, which is gonna be so fun. <sighs> I guess it's time to tell you guys this story time. I really don't even wanna tell it because y'all, I be staying out the mix. I swear to y'all, I be staying out the mix. But sometimes, People come in my mix, and uh, I just, you know, take it as it comes. So today I'm just gonna be giving y'all the story time. This about happened about probably like a week ago. About Let's a just week say ago. a week ago. I'm gonna give y'all the backstory so that you guys can understand, and then I'll give you guys the story story. <sighs> Boy, let me let me let me position my wig on my head first. Okay, so let me give you guys the backstory. So, you know, just a regular smuggler day on my Instagram. On the Explore page, like always, love the Explore page. I'm using this Ghost Bond, and this is what I'm gonna be using to glue down my wig. But anyways, on my Explore page, like usual, so then boom, I see a picture on my Explore page, and I click on it, and so I'm looking at the picture, I'm like, wait, like, why does this feel like deja vu? Like, why does it feel like I've seen this picture before? So just by instinct, I click on, well, the, the picture that was posted was not posted by the picture. The picture that was posted was not posted by the person who took, who was in the picture, if that makes sense. So it was like another page that reposted a picture. Um, I looked in the caption and the person's photo who was um, in the picture was tagged. So I clicked on their page or whatever and they only had like a few hundred followers. I was like, okay, I don't know how I might have saw this before or whatever. So just off the of instinct, I just click on the story because it was a public page. So I clicked on the story. I'm like, maybe this is like a little fake page because the picture wasn't ugly. Like it wasn't an ugly picture. And it was just weird to see that the page only had a couple hundred followers. So I was like, okay, let me watch the story and see. So then I click on the story, click through the story, didn't see nothing. Click back on the picture and I'm like, okay, forget it. Wherever I saw this picture, it doesn't even matter. And then a little bell went off in my head and I'm like, click on the comments of the reposted picture. So I click on the comments of the reposted picture and one of the first comments that I see is somebody saying something about how they they recreated um, somebody's look. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense where I've seen this look from. So I like the comment, nothing, thinking nothing of it. So that was maybe, that was probably like a week and a half ago. Let me get this, this glue is like literally stuck in here. Let me get this out and then we can finish the story. Okay, so I wanna say about another week passed, right? And I'm back on Instagram, a light normal, and I go to my notifications because I had just posted a picture and I was going back to go like and reply to some comments. But when I click on when I clicked on my notifications, I see that somebody mentioned me in their story. And y'all already know that I always repost people who repost me on their story. Like whether that be my picture, whether that be something that they tried out for my video, whether that be whatever, I always repost people's stuff. So I click on it. Y'all, this girl whole page, like her whole story is dedicated to 
bashing me, calling me ugly, zooming in on my toes. I don't even know why you do that. Anytime I got my toes out, my toes is done. But yeah, just going in, just coming for me personally, like coming for my looks, coming for what I wear, coming for all of that, saying that I watched her story to see where she shopped. Um, that does make no sense. All of this crazy stuff, like all of this crazy stuff, like her whole story was me. And I'm like, wait, click back on the page, come to find out it's the girl page who, the picture I saw, it's her page. And I'm like, so I'm putting all the details back in my head. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. So when I go back in my head and I'm putting all this together, I'm like, okay. So she's upset because I like somebody else's comment about her photo being a recreation of someone else's look. That's what all of this is about. And I'm like, okay. Another day. So then I go to our DMs. Of course she had already DM'd me something. I just told, I, you know, I exchanged some choice words with her because you know, she came from my character and my appearance and then I was blocked. But yeah, but yeah y'all, that was the story time about this girl and how she tried me on Instagram this week. And honestly, I wasn't even too much bothered by it cause it was just like, it didn't even make sense to begin with, but it was just, it's a story to tell. It's something to tell y'all because it ain't even all that serious. It ain't all that deep. Like she had other people in her DM saying stuff about me, reposting it. And I'm like, wait, like what? I'm just going to make me a little, a little fake page because I really don't even be trying to be shady. But if I'm, if, if that's what I'm going to see, just off of liking a comment, I ain't got time for that. I really don't got time. Trying to ruin my day. Somebody trying to ruin my day. I was having an excellent day that day. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on it to see somebody showing me some love. Ciao. Shoddy. And then zoomed in on my goddamn feet. <laughs> I said, oh my God. I didn't really piss somebody off. Come find out it was her. Lord. Girl, if you watching this, I don't know if you thought I had an issue with you personally. I don't even know who you are. Because I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. <sighs> just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, let's just bring it down a couple notches. Thank you. But I think I'm gonna do two layers of glue for this install because um, just because I don't really know how long I'm gonna have this in. I need a couple videos done. So I probably had this weekend for probably like a week. So I'm gonna need some extra glue because I go to the gym every day and I don't really got time for my wig to be coming up when I'm working out. And I think I'm probably just gonna wear like an elastic band over my lace while I work out because I sweat. Like I'm not one of those girls who go to the gym and can get away with not sweating. I sweat. So I think I'm gonna do like a couple layers of this glue instead of just one. And then we'll start like placing it down little by little and seeing where I want it to go. This is not the right positioning at all. Oh my God, it is already stuck down. Y'all, this might be a problem. Y'all, this wig is like extremely too small for my head, okay. So I think I'm just gonna put it down one side at a time because I really want the positioning on this unit to be correct because I'm not trying to look crazy. So I'm gonna use my blow dryer, go ahead and dry this side down, make sure that it is exactly where I want it to be and then we'll redo this side.
Okay, so y'all, it's still like a lot of tension like just on the lace because it is, this wig is a little bit too small. So I'm just about to hurry up and try to take a elastic, a piece of this elastic band. And y'all, I actually got this whole roll of just straight up elastic for like, I think $7 on Amazon. I'll link it down below. So this is what the lace is looking like so far. So I'm just about to spray some got to be on it and just tie it down for a couple of minutes. Okay, so now that I have the hair down, I'm trying to decide if I want a side part or a middle part. I kind of been middle parting it up lately and I kind of want to just switch it up. So let's see what a side part is going to look like. Mm. What y'all think? Yeah, that just looks like what I've been doing. No, let's do the side part. I think I want a deeper side part though. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Okay, so now that I got it swooped, I'm just about to start smoothing the hair and the main thing that I'm gonna be using to flatten out this wig is gonna be a hot comb. I get mine from Walmart so you can find this on the website or you can go into Walmart yourself and get it. Okay, so the products that I'm gonna be using today, um, I'm probably gonna use some of this. I don't know, this is cheese so confusion. And then I have some edge booster. This is just a wax stick. And then I got some hairspray. So I'm just gonna try to use these three and see what I can do. For the actual like curl pattern itself, I am gonna use other products, but just to style it and get it like super flat right now. Those are all the products that I'm gonna be using. So, so you always wanna make sure that your track is covered up. So I just like to go ahead and comb that hair backwards that needs to be back to cover that. Once I have that covering where the track is, I'm just gonna take this wax stick and I'm just gonna run that right over that. It don't gotta be super perfect. And then I'm also gonna take the wax stick and go over this part. So now what I like to do is take a comb and just smooth the product through. And as you can see, it's already getting super flat, but what the hot comb is gonna do is basically just make it stay. So I'm gonna take this and go over all of this. I'm also gonna be going over the hairline. I kind of want like a dramatic swoop type of situation in the front, so I'm just gonna lift up the hair and hot comb it backwards in the front, like so. And it's still kind of big at the top for me, so I'm just gonna take my hot comb and go over that. And then if you have to, go ahead and take some more of that wax stick and use that to smooth down all the little flyaways. Go back in and smooth that product in first. I just find that it's best to go ahead and blend in a product before adding heat to it just because, I don't know, it just works better. So, this is all I'm doing. And it's just making the wig just lay flatter than flat because that's how I like my installs. And that's the only way to do it, honestly. Now that I have the hair laying flat, what I'm about to do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and define the hair just because um, I think I want it to be like wet and curly. So I'm just gonna spray it with some water. I'm not gonna add too much water to this hair because I'm gonna add product as well. So that's just about enough. And then I'm gonna take a brush and just brush through it. And you guys can see how easy it is to brush through and um, no tangles at all. I love, 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 love West Kiss curly hair. I always end up with their curly hair for some reason. It's always so good. like so good every time but yeah it combs out easily i haven't seen a lot of shedding of course when i pluck and stuff like that you see a lot but other than that i don't see a lot of shedding at all in this hair so i'm just gonna take some foam wrap and then i think i'm just gonna scrunch up the hair and then that'll be all that i do Okay, so for right now, we are done with styling, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take up this elastic band. And then we can basically go ahead and start cutting the lace.
Okay, so this is what the unit is looking like after I've cut the lace. No baby hairs at all. This is what everything is looking like. It looks pretty good to say that this wig was too small for my head. But y'all already know I'm known for finessing it. So I'm trying to see how I want to do this. I've been seeing like some really cute inspo on Instagram and stuff like that. Some people have been doing heart baby hairs. Everybody's doing like the fluffy baby hairs. Yeah, I really don't know what I really want to do with this because it's kind of like, it's, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of want to do like a swoop right here, of course. Boom. A little bit more dramatic, of course. Boom. Oh, hair in my eyes. But I'm not really sure on how I want to do this. I think I'm just going to do like a classic install with just pretty baby hairs. So let's just do that. Instead of doing all the extra, um, my next unit is just all black. We can do something with that. We can, we can do the extra with that. So let's wait on that and let's just do really cute edges with this. And don't worry if it looks like it's a little bit overplugged. If the part looks like it's too wide, I have some spray. We're going to clean all that up at the end. So y'all, let's just do these baby hairs. I'm excited. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of got to be for my edges and I think that's probably the only thing I'm gonna use on them and I'm only putting the product to the base of the baby hairs and not the whole thing So I kind of like the big dramatic baby hair look. Don't mind the little white cast right there on my lace. That's just that's just leftover makeup on my lace and I gotta clean it off with alcohol. But I kind of like the big curly baby hairs. It's really giving, like it's giving, it's, it's a moment right now. I'm really liking it. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do my sideburns the exact same way and then we'll be done. That was quick and easy, girl. So I'm back and I got my sideburns done. Let me zoom in. Now we're just going to go in with the unit and just perfect everything. And don't mind me moving the camera around. I'm just trying to get the perfect angle. So let me show y'all what I have. So I have this spray. It is the same color as this hair. And this is going to help me clear up those little spots that may look over plugged or whatever, whatever. Clean up the part. And then I'm also going to be taking this little tool right here and i'm going to be using this to just smooth around my hairline and make everything perfect and sleek so basically i'm just about to just put the finishing touches on this hairstyle and then we're gonna wrap it up Okay, so I can let my hair back down now that I have fixed the lace and all of that. Let this hair down. I'm trying to see where I want the little dramatic little swoop to be. And I think it's kind of already formed, so I'm just gonna keep it to where it's at. So I'm just gonna comb the hair. And as you guys 
as y'all can see like i am still able to comb through the hair the hair is not hard it's just molded into the way that i want it to go which is why i love all of these products i'm gonna use this got to be and just spray this over the top of my head and this is a hairspray and what I'm gonna do is just smooth my hand over everywhere where I see like a little flyaways and that's just gonna get rid of all of that. But y'all look, look, let me zoom in. Look at this hair, like, I did that. I just did that. I just did that. And y'all just watch me do the whole thing. I just did this. Like baby hair is on point, lace on point, color on point, hair is on point, everything on point i am so powerful my mind oh it amazes me sometimes i'm trying to think is there any last steps that i normally do when i do my wigs and uh, let me think yep so there is one last step but i'm actually out of it i normally go in with some oil sheen and just spray all over the hair but it's literally none left in here it just makes your hair super shiny this is the brand that i use i'll put it on the screen of course and yeah this is about the last finishing touch to this hair but you guys already know the deal. I'm about to go do my makeup and put on some clothes and then I'll be back to close out this video. So, see you there, girl. So that pretty much concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to thumbs up this video and also comment down below and tell me what you guys wanna see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit. I'm lit and if you subscribe, then you can relate to it and that's on what? That's on period. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next upload. All the links on his hair will be listed in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.